Hello Strangelings, it has been a while, and of course, because it is October, Happy Halloween. I am getting ready to do a shoot this weekend that involves some witchy stuff, so I'm trying on my hat, and I just thought it looked pretty good, so I'm not done working on it quite yet, but I thought I would wear it for this video, seeing as the palette I'm reviewing for you today is very Halloween-y in itself. You know I have been dying for a Lunatic Lab Cosmetic, Lunatic Cosmetic Lab Palette ever since I saw their packaging, not even just that, but everything on their website has adorable packaging, the colors are amazing, and their customer service is killer. So if you haven't ordered from them or checked them out, I highly recommend it. I have links down below. This is the Hocus Pocus palette. They also have an option that you can use one of these as a blank palette and use any of their eyeshadow from any other palettes and make your own. You can make your own with five shades. This is what the inside looks like. It has a little bat mirror that's kind of blinding you guys right now. I'm sorry about that. Five shades. These are super cute. I noticed that the um, shades I was picking out for my palette, three of them were already in this one, so why not order it? I actually didn't order off of their website, though. In a group that I'm in on Facebook, a girl had ordered it, said that they were too bright. She wasn't really that interested in doing it. I wanted to sell them. These retail at about $35 or $39, I don't remember. And she was selling hers, and I had to have it because she was seen the packaging. <laughs> um, I'm a little bit tired. I just worked a 13 hour shift at work, but I haven't recorded in a while. And somebody, Tana, was bugging me that my audience misses me and all this other stuff. So, Lunatic Lab. Haven't tried it yet. Um, really want to because these colors are literally everything. They are very bright. Uh, they are very pigmented. Like I said, I haven't been able to try them yet. I'm doing some swatches on my hands to show you. I'm just literally... I'll show you what I'm doing. Alright. Taking my finger, swirling it around, and then doing back and forth a couple times on my hand. These are so pretty. Like I said, so pigmented, very soft. There's a little bit of fallout, but not much. There we go. I don't know how well you can see that because, like I said, my light usually sucks. But if you can see that, they're very pigmented. They're really pretty. I'm very excited to try these on my eyes. <laughs> um, I'm just stain your fingers nicely. <laughs> but it's an absolutely gorgeous palette. I love that it folds all the way back so that the mirror is in the way. But the mirror is bot shaped, so it's very cute. Um, I really want to use this just, not even just for Halloween, but I really wanted an orange. That was the main thing that kind of sold me on this palette was that orange shade. I really wanted it. It's called Pumpkin Queen. Pumpkin Queen. Uh, the colors are, I'm trying to do this. Alright. Sacrifice. Lime Lagoon. The purple is Phantom Craft. Omen <laughs> and Pumpkin Queen. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place today. Um, the whole... It's... Uh, words. It is a great size palette. You can see that me holding it. This is a huge palette. The mirror on it is very nice. I like that it folds all the way back. I love the pigment. Um, like I said, there's some slight fallout from what I can tell from it, but that's not too bad. Oh, uh, let me try to see... I'm going to use one of my Gotham Girls uh, Catwoman brushes. I have not yet used one, so I'm excited to use it for the first time. And just apply it. Yes, I am already wearing eyeliner and I'm putting eyeshadow over it. I have no shame. I obviously know not what I'm doing. That color is really pretty. I don't even know if you can see it because of the shadow from the hat. But I love this this pumpkin brightness oh my gosh this is gorgeous I actually have like I said I have a shoot coming up on Sunday and I think this will literally be perfect for it now I'm kind of half assing it because mm, almost 11 o'clock at night I'm not going to go out wearing this but I don't know if you can see it's really pretty it goes on very nicely um the only problem that I'm having so far with it is that it's getting very easily on my other fingers. Like that blue is transferring a lot. What can you do? Um. Woo! Swatch it again. I don't know if I can. There we go. 
They are so pretty and so pigmented, and I'm so excited about them. So yeah, my review of the Lunatic Cosmetics Lab palette is that it is gorgeous. It is a must-buy. You definitely need to check it out if you have not already. You can check out some of their other stuff. They have a translucent face powder that is beautiful that I want to buy really bad just because the packaging on it is gorgeous. And it's huge. It's like the size of the palm of my hand. So the price on it, which I think is about $20 maybe, is definitely worth it. They have their um, lipsticks that look like little bullets. They're very cute. Uh, they have a couple other palettes. They have the custom palette and they also have an Elvira special edition. I believe it's still out right now that you can still order. So all in all, the only thing that I have about this palette is that the... It, I'm sure if I put a primer down on my lid, it would stay very nicely, but just the way that it's moving around on my hands, like, the swatches aren't what moves, like, is moving. The swatches are staying just fine, I can't worry. But what I did with my fingers is what's going, like, it's transferring to all my other fingers. If I keep touching my skin, it's still coming off. Um, so I gotta be careful to make sure that it's nice and locked in place or it might get all over. I don't know how dark this is because I don't have my usual lighting, but... I hope you enjoyed this video, Strange Wings. I will definitely have more to come with some more witchy stuff happening. Um, I hope you guys have a strange and wonderful weekend, and I hope that there's more videos to come soon. Bye!